So you want to start decluttering, which is amazing because that is the first important step to take when you want to simplify your life. But before you do that, there are some things that you should know. When I started my minimalist journey over three years ago and I started decluttering, there are a lot of mistakes that I made. So by the end of this video, you will learn the mistakes that I made in my journey so that you avoid them and do not make the same mistakes. To learn more about minimalism and simple living, make sure you are subscribed down below and tap that bell to be notified when I upload a video every single week. The first mistake to not make is not making a plan. So you do not need to make a 10 page step-by-step -step plan on your decluttering process, but you do need to make some sort of plan before you get started. Some things to include in your plan are what day you're going to do it, what time, is there anything in your schedule that you need to move around to make the time to declutter? Also, most importantly, where are you going to declutter and what are you going to declutter? This is going to be different for every single person. Some people might be feeling comfortable and have the time to declutter an entire room. Other people are maybe not so ahead yet and want to start small, so maybe something like a drawer or something like that is a great place to start. If you don't make a plan, you will be very inefficient and it's not going to be very effective because you are just going to get started wherever that space is and you just might get overwhelmed also and that's going to lead you to end up quitting your decluttering journey. The point is, is just to have a plan, know what you're going to do and know what you're going to tackle when you start decluttering. The next mistake to not make is to not know what you're going to do with the items you are decluttering. So some questions you can ask yourself are, am I going to donate this? Am I going to re-gift this? Am I going to sell this item? Am I going to simply recycle it or throw it away? First, you must figure out what you're going to do with the items that you are decluttering and then figure out where they're gonna go. For example, if you are going to plan on donating your items, start picking out a place where you're gonna go to donate them instead of leaving everything that you decluttered sitting around your house and just taking up space. A lot of people do not plan where they're going to donate the items that they choose to donate and since they don't know where to put those items, they just leave them in their house and then they just end up sitting there cluttering up the space and just taking up space in general. Know when you're going to donate and where you're going to donate if that's the option that you are choosing. Same thing goes for selling an item. If you are going to sell something, figure out where you're going to sell it. There are so many websites, apps, and platforms that you can choose. Also figure out a time, maybe right then and there as you're decluttering to take a picture and upload it to wherever you're going to sell it and write the caption and make sure that it is presented nicely so people are willing to buy it. Personally, my favorite apps to sell things are Mercari, Poshmark, and Depop. So those are the top three that I use occasionally depending on if it's a bigger item like furniture or something like that. I'll use a Facebook marketplace and I'll also use OfferUp. But those are just some examples of apps that I use whenever I want to sell my items. Next mistake to avoid is being too frugal. So when I started my minimalist journey, I fell into the trap of being too frugal where I wasn't living comfortably. There is such a thing as being too frugal or too of a minimalist, so you want to definitely avoid that trap. If it is making your living situation very uncomfortable, difficult, then stop right there and go ahead and purchase whatever that you decluttered that you got rid of because you thought that it was something that you didn't need. In the past, I've gotten rid of stuff where I ended up regretting it because I was like, well, why did I get rid of it? Because I thought that I didn't need it anymore and I didn't have any use for it, but I actually still did. So you want to figure that out ahead of time before you declutter and avoid being too frugal. If you actually need this item, don't be afraid to purchase something that's better or of a better quality than the one that you had just decluttered. Organizing before decluttering. This is probably my number one biggest tip in this video. I know a lot of people, including myself, have made this mistake. Do not organize before you declutter. The problem with this is that if you start organizing before you declutter, you're going to find that you still do not have enough space, that things might still look cluttered even after they're organized, or it's going to be hard to maintain. And then you'll be scratching your head trying to figure out why, like, 
I organized this, why is there still so much stuff? The problem is, is that you did not declutter. So you definitely want to do that first before you buy all those organizational bins and things like that because it's going to really make a difference. I know a lot of people like to organize and there is a difference between organizing and decluttering. So before you organize anything, you want to take a look at the inventory that you have, see if there's anything that you can downsize and declutter, and then you can go ahead and purchase whatever organizing stuff that you are looking at, maybe some bins or containers or things like that. Because if you do that, you might end up seeing that you bought too many storage items and bins when you really didn't need that many. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and also it helps other people find this video so that they can avoid making mistakes when decluttering. Another mistake is decluttering for other people or forcing minimalism onto other people. So I definitely fell into this trap. I was starting to declutter for my partner, for my family, and I obviously had good intentions because I saw so many benefits of decluttering that I just wanted to share that with other people. But the problem is that maybe some people are not ready to declutter or let go. Even though I was so excited about how decluttering made me feel and how my space was so much better and all these benefits that I had from decluttering, I just wanted to share with other people. However, you don't want to force decluttering on anyone. You might cause a lot of strain in your relationship with that person or it just might not end up looking very good at all. The only thing that you can do is just lead by example and show other people that you have had so many benefits from decluttering and minimalism and if they're open to it and they ask you for help then you can go ahead and help them out and help them declutter as well but if they don't ask for your help or do not seem interested at all then do not force decluttering or minimalism on them do not declutter too much so once you get decluttering, you kind of get that ball rolling and you get so excited about decluttering that you might go a little bit overboard and declutter too much. Try to not make it into a habit that you're always decluttering. Yes, it feels good. Yes, you have so many benefits that come with it, but you also do not want to be decluttering all the time because that can also mean that you are still buying too many things and that they're coming into your house that you're always trying to look for ways to declutter them to make room for new ones. This leads me into my next mistake to avoid, which is decluttering to buy more. So a lot of people fall into this trap. Like I was saying, you go out and purchase all these things only to declutter them a month or two later. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of decluttering. To avoid going to the store and buying more than what you need, have a list ready before you go into the store. Having a list will totally help. Make sure that you only have items that you actually need and stick to that list to avoid impulse shopping and overbuying. Another mistake to avoid is to not forget about mental decluttering. So yes, decluttering possessions is very beneficial and fun to do, but also do not forget about mental decluttering. Your mind and your health is above all most important of decluttering, so make sure that you do not forget about that part. Also, don't become a minimalist or declutterer because it is a trend. Do it for the benefits that you'll get out of it. Do it for your wallet, for saving for a house or a car. Do it for your future goals. Do it for your mental health, for your happiness. There are so many reasons why there are so many benefits on minimalism and decluttering. And if you are interested in seeing why I love minimalism and all the benefits that it has provided me, I will link a video up here and down below for you guys to check out because there are quite a few and they're amazing. <laughs> Another mistake to avoid is comparing. Do not compare yourself to the other person who is on their own decluttering journey. It is so easy to compare yourself to other people and 
there's nothing different about it when it comes to minimalism or decluttering but you want to avoid comparing yourself to another person do not worry about the number of items that you have versus another person or don't say like i have a hundred books in my bookshelf but this other person only has five so i need to get down to about five books and declutter all of them no that's not how it works if you love having books in your home and you have over a hundred books at home then keep them if they make you happy if they bring value to you you definitely want to keep those things other things that are not so important to you those are the things that you can declutter never ever compare yourself to anybody else's minimalist journey or what they've decluttered or basically anything this applies to anything in life just don't compare yourself to other people Check out these videos on decluttering because I have a ton of videos on my channel of tips and tricks about decluttering as well as things that I've decluttered in the past. So if you're looking for some inspiration, definitely check out those videos. Comment down below what your biggest takeaway was from this video about mistakes to avoid when decluttering. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already because next week I will be sharing with you what I am decluttering for the spring season so you do not want to miss that one as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!